Hello and welcome to Paul's Engage Journal. Welcome to Paul's Engage Channel again. Um, Alright, and now it's just after Christmas. And um, what did I get? Well, I've got a few things in the post. Um, I got some cars, and I got um, a big van, um, a couple of uh, different items. That's all I got uh, through the post at Christmas. I'll just go through them in a minute. First one we'll do is this a Royal Automobile Club. Um, as you all have guessed, this is definitely not Engage. Uh, on eBay, it said it was Engage, but it wasn't uh, when it arrived up. Either it grew in the post or the seller made the mistake. Uh, and didn't have a clue what N gauge, O gauge, O O gauge is. Anyway, so I've ended up with this. Um, not bad. It sort of cost about nine quid, and I do like it. And I will get one in N gauge uh, to go on the layout because these are always handy. And as you can see, uh, it's got a silly little. Um, number plate but it's got representation of brake lights etc uh, and then obviously it's uh, going to be hauled by something like a Land Rover or uh, a lorry or something uh, but yeah this is the old uh, mobile office that you find outside um, shows and uh, in supermarket car parks occasionally nowadays and obviously it's not really got an inside detail and there is uh, supposed to be um, uh, a desk and office and shelves at the back uh, but there's nothing actually in them but it's very hard to make out uh, so it may need a um, up the job um, a remade remake uh, inside you know uh, take the shell off and try and highlight uh, the bits and pieces but yeah not bad for what it is uh, as I say I was a bit disappointed it wasn't engaged as I uh, ordered, uh, I'd ordered or I was led to believe but it's still it's still something uh, I'm gonna keep I'm not gonna th uh, sell it on well not yet might sell it on if I decide that uh, uh, I've not got the space for it. But anyway, so we shall put that to one side. And that was arrived just before Christmas. Uh, but yeah, I've decided that yeah, yeah, I will keep it uh, for the time being. But what I also ordered was some cars. And there were like these used lot of cars, and great, and then they're very nice. Uh, I'm quite pleased with what we've got. Um, some need a little bit of settling, but otherwise, uh, they're okay. This one, uh, let me give you this one. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Um, looks like it might be a Mazda, or oh, supposed to be a Mazda, but. Anyway, nice little uh, engage. Um, I've put it down there and it goes out of shot a bit. If I bring it in, there you go. It's not a bad, bad colour, it's like a browny, purpley colour. Um, uh, got windscreen, obviously, no interior, the interior is nothing. Um, it does need a bit of work on the back because uh, it looks like uh, uh, the glazing's been pushed in a bit, but that's not a problem. We can sort that one out. 
Uh, it doesn't say what it is. As I say, but uh, I've got a feeling it's something like a Mazda. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Anyway, that's that's number one. Let's keep that there. Number two. This looks like a, a good old Bentley or something. It's, uh, I don't know. It says it's. Uh, Rover, it says, I can't really make it because it's got paint on it, so, anyway, uh, but I like this, it's a nice, uh, good, good grey colour, nice, uh, into, uh, nice outside, the glazing looks okay, uh, and the front beam looks super. Uh, got a couple of lights, uh, radiator grill looks good, and uh, no number plate on it of course, but you know, uh, engage, ooh, you know, you're not really going to uh, see that very much. I do like the form of that, I do like the form, that's a very nice car. So that's another one for the, for the layout. Now then, uh, I will do this one next, because this is a VW Golf, and as you can see, it's quite nice, this one. It's a uh, sort of a cream, uh, magnolia cream type colour. Uh, but it's got, you know, silver lights. Uh, got a, a good class. It's actually, you can actually see it's got uh, seats in there. Uh, so I might be able to put a little man in there, but I don't think I will because the underside Looks like this would be dangerous to uh, take apart. No, it's got like a wings, uh, wing thing, so I would assume this is a continental one. But yeah, I like this. Uh, it's a nice little uh, Volkswagen Golf. And yeah, wheels go as well. That's um, the third one for the collection. And I've got two Opel records, one in a buff and one in a sort of silvery grey. Uh, and this is the buff one. I think it's been attempted to, uh, or they've attempted to um, weather it a bit. But these are, yeah, little plastic ones, they're not, uh, not metal. Uh, made in Germany, apparently. Uh, well, car is also. Um, there you go, a little Opal record. And, yeah, it's not bad. It's a good little, uh, good little model. And it'll do well on the layout. Uh, and, yeah, there you go. And the screens, uh, the windscreens and the uh, windows and that are. Okay, yeah, not good. Again, it's not one of these that you want to take apart because uh, it might destroy the model. <laughs> and here's a silver one, and or oh, silver grey. And this one's uh, slightly dirty; will need to be cleaned. And uh, if that's an attempt at weathering, I'm not sure that that's what I would want anyway. So I shall give that a clean up and see how that goes uh, yeah so we've got a, a two overall records where you know obviously in, in real life you will see more than one car the same model uh, so obviously sometimes same colour sometimes different colours uh, yeah here we go so that's uh, my Christmas um, purchases um, didn't get anything else, didn't see anything else I liked actually and I uh, was looking for maybe a little uh, engine or something but no, I decided that this was just what I was going to go for to the, uh, this year. Uh, five cars, so you would have had a better truck but it's definitely not uh, M1. Uh, no, not a, it's not an N-Gode uh, but uh, it's good for collection, I shall keep it. Um, but. Yeah, I'll see if I can get an engage, a proper engage one this time. <laughs> I might just have to go down to the model shop and have a look there. 
and when you look at it uh, on eBay, you know, some of these um, Oxford die cast ones, uh, you, put, you end up paying exactly the same amount you would pay in the shop, you know, because you have to pay for the postage. And um, uh, very rarely are they uh, free postage, but anyway, we'll sure have another look later on in the month. That's all for now. Uh, hope you have a happy new year and I'll talk to you in the new year. Please subscribe, hit the button if you'd like, uh, leave any comments and yeah, uh, all comments are appreciated, uh, good or bad, not rude ones. Um, but yes, uh, it's uh, coming up for the new year so have a good time, be safe, be careful and don't drink and drive. Uh, have a good new year. Bye bye.